This tutorial explains how to write a number that is less than 1 in standard form. Now people tend to find this quite difficult, but I'm hopefully going to try and explain it in a more simplistic way. So, if we take the number 0 0.002, then if we think about this, this number is the same as doing 2 divided by 1000 okay because the the 2 is moving from here to here so it's moving 1 2 3 1 2 3 zeros okay now 2 divided by 1000 is the same as 2 divided by 10 to the power 3 because we have three zeros there okay now another way to write divide by 10 to the 3 is to say that it's the same as multiplying by 10 to the power minus 3 okay so if we wanted to write this um, in standard form we could write 2 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 okay and that is 0 0.002 in standard form now notice that the, because the number is less than 1 when we write a number in standard form the power becomes negative now in a previous tutorial I showed you an easier method for those peoples that find um, the mechanics behind this a little bit too difficult so I'm going to show you a bit of more of a simplistic method to use. So if we start off with this as an example. So if you followed my previous tutorial on um, numbers greater than 1, then it's quite similar. So we're looking this time for any numbers that we go along the number until we find a digit that's not 0. And then I'm going to circle that number. And I'm going to write that here, and that's going to form my number between 1 and 10. Then I'm going to multiply that by a power of 10. Now, because this number is less than 1, we need this to be negative. And then, like in the previous example, I showed you a method where we start labelling. And we're going to do the same thing, but this time we're going to start labelling here from the 0. So we're going to start 0, 1 two three okay now we stop when we get to the first digit that's not zero and that is my power so 0 0.04 is equal to 4 multiplied by 10 to the power minus 3 now moving on to the next example I'm going down the number until I get to the first digit that is not zero and I'm going to put a box around the numbers that are non-zero after all the zeros. So I've got 1 and 2, and I'm going to write that there. Now, in the previous tutorial, we looked at how we can change that into a number between 1 and 10, because remember, a number in standard form needs to be between 1 and 10. So if I put a decimal place between the 1 and the 2, it automatically becomes a number between 1 and 10, 1 1.2. I'm going to put multiplication sign. 10 needs to be negative because the number's less than 1. And then I'm going to start counting again, starting from here again. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And I stop when I get to the first digit. And then I transfer that here. Okay, final example. So, quite a big long number, 0 0.00000, first digit that's not 0 is a 4. I'm going to put a box around all the things that are not 0, and then I'm going to write those after the equal sign. Now, I need to change this into a number between 1 and 10, so if I put it there, after the first digit, then it's 
Again, notice I haven't changed the order, it's still 454, 454. Four. I've just changed it into a number between 1 and 10. Multiply by a power of 10. Again, because the number is less than 1, it needs to be negative. And to find the number here, I start counting again. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Six and I stop when I get to the, fir the first digit that isn't zero, and I put the six there. So notice before when the numbers were greater than one, the powers were positive, but now the numbers are less than one, the powers are negative.